Warframe is now out for Nintendo Switch. It is yet another free-to-play experience on the hybrid console. And we are going to see what it looks like in handheld a little bit later. But for now, I want to get into the game. I've never really played Warframe. I played it on PC maybe twice. But it was just never for me. And maybe Switch is going to be the platform where I actually jump in. And that is what we are going to do here. Jump into Warframe and see how it runs. I've heard that the port is really, really good. Uh, I've heard nothing but phenomenal things about it. We're not using Joy-Con. We're using a Pro Controller. Thank you for supporting Pro Controller. Unlike Pokemon, let's go. So it feels good to have a controller in my hand once again. I'm assuming that this first uh, load here is going to take a little while, but after that, we should be good. We're going to be, what, space ninjas, I guess, is what this ends up being. They, they look kind of weird, like alien ninjas of some kind. A lot of people really love Warframe. The game is more popular than you think, I can promise you that. But for now, let's go ahead and see how it runs here in docked mode. Okay, so after a little crash, we're going to pick our display name here. We're going to go with SF Gabe. Uh, that's just kind of what I'm going with. Uh, for a lot of these online games now. I'm trying to represent Switch Force as best I can. And uh, here we are. Warframe Mask of the Revenant. I don't know what that crash was about. Uh, we got to adjust this to fit. Okay, that fits. I'm going to hit done here. For generations you've slept. No purpose. No call to wake you. But now... Something has risen from the ruins of the old war. The Twin Queens, the sisters, have sent their most beloved commander, Vor, on an urgent mission. To protect the twisted crusade they have begun. To transform the scattered colonies into an empire. To see that the Tenno, hidden and asleep, will never awake. I got caught. Alright, here we get to choose our Warframe in true panic button fashion. That cutscene actually ran really, really smooth. Alright, so since I'm not experienced here, we're going to take a little bit of time. Um, Excalibur is a perfect balance of mobility and offense. Excalibur is the ideal Warframe for new players. Well, okay, that settles it. That's where we're going to go with. Uh, we also have Mag and Volt here, but... Excalibur sounds like what we should use because we are new to Warframe and that is what we're going to do. Wake up. I see the Lotus has tried to wake you. Pity she's too late. You're my prize now, Denno. No. We are taking this one with us. What has he done to you? I can't lose another Tenno. I'm searching the Warframe's power system. Or quick, you and like power. that, now we can move. Alright, so press R and B, okay. Okay, cool. Do keep in mind, for anybody that doesn't know, this game is free. And that's very important to note here while we uh, start. But man, this runs so, so well. The frame rate isn't dropping whatsoever. We are slashing a whole bunch of enemies. Okay, what happens if we... Okay, so uh, R slash, 
and we jump with B. That's what's happening. Ooh, okay, double jump. Wow, okay, I'm liking this a lot. The combat feels like very satisfying right off the bat. Alright, so part one's done here. Alright, and we're not even armed yet. It'll be cool to see what we can grab here momentarily. Alright, I figured we, you know, hit down the, the left stick to, to run and that is what happens. Ooh. A bow. Okay. No! Let's use the blade instead. I much prefer a blade. It'll probably be quicker, just not as strong, I'm, I'm assuming. Okay, melee attack with A. Yeah, alright, so we are like space ninjas. Awesome. So the R button has that slash ability. Alright. Let's continue. Your Warframe is out of power. Use another weapon. There's a cache of weapons ahead. Grab what you can. Is there stealth? Yeah! That- oh, that was a sick stealth attack there. Alright. Okay, so he's down now. Um... Some MK1 Kunai. Or this pistol. A Lado. Let's pick up the Lado. It said forego stealth. This one here is a little more stealthy. Uh, suddenly Good. puncture flesh. Yeah, we don't want to be stealthy. Hurry before Vor finds out you've escaped. I want to see what... Okay, so there is no gyro controls. That, that, that was the first thing I wanted to check. Um, at least there isn't on by default. Maybe I can turn them in in settings, and we'll check that in a bit. And just to let you guys know, there is motion control. You can toggle the motion control for aiming here, and that enables gyro. Panic button does a really good job with that, so it is there if you want it. Okay, so I just got to figure out a way... To, oh, okay, there's a ladder. I was say, how am I supposed to just, like, jump there? Wow. All right. I'm already very impressed with this game, especially for the fact that it's free. Uh, there is microtransactions and stuff like that, but that's just kind of how free to pay, uh, free to play games uh, work. Why have you not reported in? All right. So we'll slide through. Yeah, I'm just very excited to see how this uh, runs in handheld. You will require resources to build yourself into a diverse and effective warrior. Okay. What do we have here? All right, get some credits and a shotgun, some shotgun ammo, even though we don't have a shotgun. Maybe we'll pick one up here in a bit. So my first impressions of dock mode here is that it runs a very, very well. The resolution might not be the highest in the world, especially because you can play this on PC at over 60 FPS and have the best optimal experience over there. But once again, panic button seems to shine when it comes to making these ports. Every time that they come up to bat with one of these games, they knock it out of the park. I am thoroughly impressed. And now we are going to go ahead and jump into handheld mode and see how that works. And I am happy to report that the experience holds up in handheld mode. Now, you are going to be playing in 30 FPS, both docked and handheld. That is a given. Some concessions had to be made so that the game could run as well as it does. And from what I hear, when you're playing with a bunch of players and it gets like super busy the frame rate can drop a little bit but i have an experience that it's held at 30 for the most part but do keep in mind that this is very early in the game the first few missions here the on the first planet as well so that might get a little bit more you know iffy as you go but the resolution being you know sub 20p 720 in the case of handheld and docked i believe it, it, it looks and runs very well. I have zero problem reading any of the text in handheld mode either, which was something that I thought was going to be an issue. I did think that, hey, like the text is going to be a little bit uh, of an issue when playing in handheld mode just because the resolution isn't going to be as good and it's going to be a problem. I didn't have it whatsoever. I actually enjoyed playing with the Joy-Con too. It, it felt absolutely perfect. I got a chance to play fully handheld. Here what you're seeing, I'm playing with a Pro Controller still, just in tabletop mode, just to show you what it looks like. And here I'm going to go ahead and toggle on the motion control because it does have gyro aiming like other 
fantastic panda button ports they do a really good job they have become the go-to port house for nintendo switch and i'm excited to see what they have coming next because they said that they have an exciting couple of months coming in i don't know if they meant just warframe and you know any dlc that they're going to be doing or if they have other big games coming that might not even be switch related but i hope they are because they've done just a phenomenal job it costs you absolutely nothing to try this so you should absolutely jump on it it's so good i had to say absolutely twice Jump on it, download the free download out right now in other territory that's coming to the US uh, a little bit later tomorrow, I believe, but I got it from the Australian eShop. It's up there right now. And if you already have it set up, you don't need a PayPal, you don't need like a credit card or anything. It's 100% of a free download. And then I started playing with my American Switch account. So hopefully you guys do the same. See you guys out there. It is a fantastic world to explore. The gameplay seems on point and the port is another home run for panic button i am praying that more and more companies hit them up to bring over their big games to our favorite hybrid platform the seamless uh you know going from docked to handheld it, it works so perfectly i am impressed and i am going to be spending a lot more time with warframe let us know in the comments below how you feel about this will you be spending any time with warframe it's not crossplay, but you can still have some fun with friends on here if anybody's looking to play uh, let me know in the comments below maybe we can uh, get something going twitter and discord links are in the description actually discord is where we would set something like that up so maybe follow us there thousands of switch force fans there hang out every once in a while and we play games together so let's get to it warframe is out kind of it's out in other territories out officially tomorrow and it's a really good time i catch you guys on the next one don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up button all that good stuff you guys are fantastic switch force out